What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're running a very saucy and also stupid team. <laughs> Basically I was looking into it the other day and I'm like, wow, Behem has analytic and has a really high special attack stat and gets stab expanding force. Let's see what we can do with that. And wow, this thing does stupid amounts of damage when it works out. It doesn't always work out if your opponent knows what you're going for, but a lot of times they don't because you don't really see trench coat alien a lot on the ladder. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Who should I do a collab with? Guys, I honestly need to do more collabs in this channel. Like, I think the last time I collaborated with someone was well over two, three months ago. Uh, but yeah. Also, videos. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded too much this week. I've been working a lot so I can save up some money while I'm at college. Uh, but yeah, moving into my new apartment soon. There are going to be some pretty hype streams. Very excited about that. Leave a like, join the Discord, do whatever. Everything I tell you to. Guys, just, just listen to me. <laughs> but yeah, today we're going to run Behem. Uh, and Behem has, you know, really strong special attack stat, analytic, stab expanding force. Basically, this thing, if you helping hand the expanding force under Psychic Train and you go after a 4 HP Togekiss, um, you're going to one-shot Dynamax Togekiss, as long as it's just 4 HP, which is a pretty common EV spread uh, on, you know, most teams. Uh, usually, you see more bulky Togekiss, but as of recent, because a lot of people like Scopeline's Togekiss, some people are just running max speed, max special attack, which is really cool. You have the 30% chance to one-shot it, which is really, really gross, and it will pretty much one-shot anything that uh, it that doesn't resist psychic moves or is immune to it. So that's really gross. Uh, this Indeedy is going to be running a, uh, a set with safety goggles, follow me, helping hand, expanding force, protect. And also I, I keep forgetting uh, to say things at the beginning of my videos. Guys, the slides that you're seeing right now have been created by my good friend, Mr. Danger Moss. I, I had him create these slides so I could have like this really cool layout for teams that I make. And I'm really happy that it turned out this way because it's, it's so cool. Check him out on Twitter. His link is in the description. These are the slides that you're seeing. It's super cool. I'm really happy he gave me this template. He didn't charge too much for it either, which is really awesome. On with the video. I keep side. I keep getting sidetracked. It's follow me, helping hand, expanding force, protect with max defense, max HP, uh, and four special defense. Just to relax nature of zero speed. Basically, this thing isn't really meant to be dishing out damage, but it can it can punch a hole in things with expanding force if it needs to. Um, it's more meant to just absorb physical hits and. Uh, with this spread, it actually gets two shot by Incineroar Darkest Lair, which is really nice. I, I really like that. Um, it's not the bulkiest Pokemon on the physical side, but you know, on the special side, it's got a lot of bulk. So I, I just wanted to go full physical. I wasn't too interested in making this thing specific for anything. We're running a fast special attack in Chlorophyll Venusaur, Leaf Storm, Sleep Powder, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb. I know Sleep Powder isn't as popular as like Protect or uh, some other coverage move right now, but I mean old habits die hard. This thing has been really really good to me uh, Sleep powder is a great move. I feel kind of uncomfortable clicking it with a life orb instead of a wide lens, but I, I mean it's always a risk to click that move So Gmax Venusaur is gonna be dishing out some pretty hefty damage and it actually combos well with everything else in the team Because this team is pretty much a trick room team with Torkoal on it So the Torkoal will be able to give me a speed boost to my Venusaur, but the Torkoal not a very specific EV spread either. It's just max HP, max special attack, four defense. Um, I could have actually EV'd this a little bit differently since I'm not running a super, super offensive Torkoal. I'm running Burning Jealousy over Eruption. Um, I could have actually opted more into defense so I can always one-shot Tyranitar, but I can get into that later. This this is more of a team testing video. Uh, however, the team doesn't really need to be tested too much. I actually hit like top 30 on the ladder and then dropped like a thousand points after that. So that was really annoying. But <laughs> this thing is really gross. This team is really nice. Um, yeah, we're running Charcoal, Torkoal. It's going to be able to deal out some pretty hefty damage with the Sun Up. And it's also a really nice Pokemon to combo with the Venusaur. Uh, we can do some really crazy stuff where we actually lead off Venusaur and Behem, kind of scout out their leads. And I can switch out one or the other for either Indeedee or Torkoal to either give me a speed boost in the Venusaur and start threatening them with a really powerful max move. Or I can switch in the Indeedee and go for the strongest expanding force in the game. Uh, so it's it's a 50-50 that they have to call, which is really nice. So there are going to be some matchups where we end up doing that. In the back, I'm running a special <laughs> offensive, of course, why am I even saying that? We're running an Assault Vest Pre Marina, Liquid Voice, Hydro Cannon, Moon Blast, Hyper Voice, Aqua Jet. Uh, the Assault Vest is just kind of slapped on there because I didn't want to put a Life Orb on it. And it's going to let us live a lot of hits on the special defensive side. I have enough special attack to... Um, 
Well, actually, the special attack wasn't for anything in particular. It's the defense. The 68 defense and the 252 HP just always allowed me to live a jolly life for Max Cinderace's uh, Max Airstream. And then the special attack was dumped. So, yeah. If, if you couldn't tell, it's been a while since I've had to record a video. Like, I am literally fumbling on every single word, so I have to get back into the habit of things. And we're running a Weakness Policy Tyranitar. I kind of want to drop the Taunt on this thing for superpower, but the Taunt is really nice for opposing Trick Room, opposing annoying Pokemon like Amoongus and stuff. So, for now, we're running Lash Out Rocks that protect Taunt. 252 HP, 212 attack with an... Uh, with a Brave Nature, 44 Defense, 0 Speed IVs, uh, basically just a Trick Room Attacker with a Weakness Policy that can be self procced by the Aqua Jet on the Primarina, and uh, enough physical bulk where I'm able to take a Mach Punch from Conkeldur while I'm Dynamaxed and not get immediately KO'd, uh, which is really nice. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. It's been 5 minutes that I've just been talking about this team. So let's, let's do it. Let's get into the video. It's going to be a bit of a shorter video. I don't have too much time today. Packing up, getting ready to go to college, and wow, wow, okay, GLHF, who am I facing here? Song DD, I feel like this could have been someone I talked to on Twitter earlier today who's experimenting with the Zoroark, but uh, scouting out the team, they are most definitely a beat up strategy that I have to be very, very wary of, and I'm 90% certain they're going to be disguising that Zoroark as a Dragapult, so, or even the Mimikyu, oh my god, I hate this. So Zoroark's really good at disguising as, <laughs> at disguising as these stupid Pokemon. I'm going to go with the 50-50 lead since we're... I like the 50-50 lead. Basically, it gives me a couple of options. Um, I can scout out what's in the front. If I don't see a ghost type in the front, then I can play effectively. He does have a couple of things that can switch into Behem Expanding Force, which I don't like too much. Um, actually, you know what? It's probably in my best interest just to go for the Guaranteed Trick Room. It's definitely in my best interest just to go Guaranteed Trick Room mode. Yeah, uh, that would have been really, really dumb of me not to do that. Alright, so I, he has no way of removing my terrain, so we can't fake out. Um, I should live anything from the Terrakion. It could actually be the Zorark, though, but I'm relatively certain I don't get one shot by either of these Pokemon, so I'm going to Trick Room up and follow me. There's the Rock Slide, yep, so that is actually the Terrakion. Hopefully I don't get flinched, and Trick Room goes up, cool. So it's time to expand. It is most certainly time to expand here. Um... He has taunted me though, which is a bit annoying, so I'm going to expand with my boy and switch in the pre Marina to pretty much take anything I need to. Um, and yeah, the follow me is going to be really nice in the late game, so I'd rather switch out the Ndidi. Alright, he's probably going to go for a dark move to knock me out, but it's fine. There's the Flare Blitz, okay, that's perfectly fine, dude. Let me expand on this man, and I'm also going to go for the Hyper Voice since it should go second. Um, I will be able to hit everything in the back. There's the Dragapult. You don't switch in on this, my friend. Unless you're the Zoroark, you are not. Okay, get these things off the field. Get these out of my sight. Do you have any kind of priority? I don't think so. No, get these off the field. Get it out. Get it out. I don't want to look at these. I'm mad at you. Go to your room. <laughs> yeah, no, this is, a, this is a gross team once you get the Trick Room off. I have a bad habit of wanting to go for the Sauce plays every single time uh, when I really should just be using the reliable strategy. Uh, however, you know, like I said, old habits die hard. You could just go hard trick room and have a really reliable strategy, but I'm not I'm not that kind of player. I'm built different. I'm built very different. All right, and we're gonna go for the hyper voice because he literally has nothing that switches in on both of these moves. I don't mind him um, max guarding or anything because I have a very, very good game plan versus him at this point. I have a lot of physical defense and I do have a follow me user in the back. So what I can do here is I can just go for a, um, here. I'm gonna go for the trick room and I'm gonna go for a, Max Geyser into this Incineroar, because I should just be able to follow me the next hit. Okay, well, I guess I made the right call, because that would have been very bad if he had actually just... Yeah, alright, cool. Um, did that not KO? Wait a second! Wait a second! Okay, that's the Zorark! You madman, dude, you madman. Alright, well, the Zorark's dead. Uh, let me follow me this hit, and I'm going to go for that max starfall. That Zorark is... Get him out of here. There's no way that was... There's no way you only take that much, right? I'm not, I'm not freaking out. That's a Zorark. Okay, no, it's not... Oh, I'm so stupid. It said... What is this? Is this just a salt vest? Is this just a... Man. Alright. You got no way of winning, man. You got no way of winning. Uh, let me go for the Max Starfall on the Terrakion. Or actually, I should just... Yeah, let me Helping Hand Max Starfall. Terrakion. I, I win with 
and I win with Tyranitar in the back. And oh my god, what? <laughs> no, don't do this. Okay, no, I still win because I have Aqua Jet, but that was really annoying. He's not going to like this. I I'm really upset that I actually didn't read. I, d I didn't read and it almost cost me the game. That Aqua Jet came in handy. Came in handy, dude. It's usually because he's going to want to go for the for the close combat to beat me, but he doesn't know I have this. Yeah, all right, good game. What was that match, man? What, what? Why did that take so little? Did he go for the Max Flare first? That's probably it. I wasn't. I skipped the turn and I wasn't paying attention. He went for Max Flare first. He went for Max Flare. Oh, by the way, we're we're relatively high ladder. Sixteen forty one. Yeah, like that's that's decently high ladder. I should have said that at the beginning, dude. I I was not paying attention and I was like, why did it do that much? Oh, it's a Zoroark. Wait, no, it said super effective, but I didn't read it. It's it's an Incineroar. It just went for Max Flare and it has a lot of special defense. Also, I'm not Life Orb or Max Special Attack, so I'm I'm so used to using those things that it's like. What? I didn't one-shot the Incineroar? And I just burped in the middle of my sentence. I'm a freaking mess. Alright, um... So. Is this the game where we sauce? They also have two Dark types, so it's probably not. This might be another hard Trick Room game, with Indeedee being disgusting on the lead. Um... But I could also see a case being made for the Torkoal. I actually see a pretty strong case for the Torkoal Venusaur lead. He doesn't exactly like the Venusaur uh, think here. Let me think. I think it, this might be another Trick Room game, actually. Indeed, he's pretty nice on the lead. Uh, he doesn't have much for... You see, I want to bring Tyranitar because it hits everything, but I'm really scared of like Body Press on this Magnezone since it's, it's going to be slower than me. They're likely minimum speed. Um, Primarina doesn't look awful, but Torkoal also looks really nice just to, you know, mess with that Amoongus. Uh, the follow me on the Indeedee should be fine for the Amoongus though, so I think I'm just going to go with the same team I did last time. Okay, so this is where we make history. This is where we make history. Let me, man, get this thing off the field. Get this thing off the field. Look how much this is going to do. I don't care if he Dynamaxes. In fact, it's in his best interest... Oh, get this thing off the field. Get this thing off the field. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, yeah, get that off the field, dude. Twisted spoon. Twisted spoon, man. Nothing eats. Nothing eats the twisted spoon. For the twisted spoon is what you used to eat. Oh, man. I, I, can we talk about how we just got rid of the biggest threat in the field just then? All right. Time to trick room up. Follow me. He's got no counterplay here. In fact, I could just... I could just remove this Dragapult. Here's the thing. Do I sauce on him? Because he can't go... He knows I'm going to follow me, right? He knows I'm going to follow me, so he has to target with a Dragon move. But it, is it going to be into the Behem or the Indeedee? I, I don't know. I can't really make that risk, so I'm just going to trick him. I really wanted a Helping Hand. I really did. There's the Max Wormwind. We eat that. Max Wormwind. I eat that. Expanding force. I click that. <laughs> Alright. Um, Tyranitar is a really solid option here. Because I can just I can just expand. I can just expand on this man. And I can go for the lash out. In fact, I should Dynamax. I should Dynamax every time. That's probably game. Nah. Get that off the field. GG, bro. GG. Ah, yes. As you can see, this team is disgusting. This team is disgusting, Juan. Respect the team, Juan. Respect the drip. And I mean, Behem has some drip. Look at this. He's got the trench coat. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's probably Gucci, to be honest. Alright. I really want to use the Venusaur. I have not used the Venusaur yet. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, okay. You have... Is that single strike or... It only says it's single strike in team preview, but I feel like it's not going to be. I feel like that's rapid strike because you got no water type otherwise. Um, Trick Room is disgusting versus him. And he can't stop it either. So I'm going to go with that. And in the back, the Torkoal's looking nice as hell. But I, once again, once again though, I feel like I get much further with Tyranitar Premier. I hate that I got to bring this every single time. Every single time, man. Every single time. All right. 
what's my play here? Because I could help me hand expanding force and remove this. I don't even care if I lose. I just want to do it. I just want to do it now. I honestly don't even care if I lose this match. I'm going to go for it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I had the win. I had the win and then I and then I freaked it, dude. I had the win and then I freaked it. I mean, I technically should have gone into the, uh, you know, the Tyranitar there. I'm a little bit upset, but granted, I did say I don't care if I lose, because I just wanted to do that. Man. All right, uh, we're going to... Let's go for the follow me hyper voice. Is he going to follow me? Because I, I could just try to switch in the Tyranitar and side Aqua Jet. Might as well go for it. Like, I know it's not my best play because he's going to follow me. But if he didn't, it would have been gross. All right. And I'm also stalling out his, his Dynamax. So I might be able to win this anyways. All right. Um, he doesn't have much to hit the Tyranitar. So he's probably going to target the Pre-Marina. It's probably my best interest to keep the Ndidi safe. Indubitably. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice. And I'm going to click a Lash Out. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Now, Porygon's off the field. However, <laughs> I lose. It's fine, though. I, I, I signed up for that when I said I don't care if I lose. I'm going to click the Helping Hand Expanding Force because I wanted to see it happen. I just I wanted, I wanted to do that once in this video, and I know I'm going to be able to win other matches with this team because this team's disgustingly good. Um, but I, I wanted to click it once in this video, and had I lost, I wouldn't mind because I would have just gotten the points back, you know? It would have been fine. It would have been fine. All right, uh, so he's going to get his Grassy Surge off, but I'm slower, so I get my Psychic Surge off. I'm going to go ahead and Helping Hand this hit into the Rillaboom, and I'm going to go for the Max Pogfall. I'm going to go for that Max Pogfall. Unless he has Superpower, I should be fine, but I don't think he's going to be going for a Superpower with the Ndidi on the field. I don't mind the Porygon, because it's going to have to click Hyper Beam, which means I get a free hit next turn, and if there is... Something weak in the back, like the Incineroar. Uh, I should be good to go. There's the Dark Pulse. We eat that. Can you please click Grassy Glide? Knock off? That's fine. I got rid of you. Um, and I still have one more turn of Dynamax. So hopefully we see an Incineroar here. And it's the Urshifu Rapid Strike. Woo wee. We did it, boys. We lost. All right. Good game. Good game. GG. Right, let me type that out. Let me type that out for him. Good game. You got me. I played bad. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I might get one or two more. One or two more. What's my ladder right now? I know I just dropped points, but 1684? Man. All right. GLHF. That's a Drigzel. He's got a lot of follow me redirection, some intimidate action, uh, something to scare off my intimidators, which, spoilers, I got zero. Um, this, I, I want to go with the Venusaur lead once more. Venusaur looks really gross here. I also feel like that's a horrible option. You know, I'm going to show off the 50-50 lead just to be funny. I don't care if I lose again. Once again, I don't care if I lose. I just want to show off the 50-50. There's the Drake Zult, the Ndidi. All right, so here's where we play the 50-50 game. Um, we have to make a call. We have to make a very scary call. I think he's going to max Airstream my Venusaur and follow me. So. I could expanding force. Actually, no, I don't even have to make the call because I'm doing stupid damage anyways. Yeah, I'm, I'm still doing stupid damage. I guess I could trick room up and attempt to sleep powder since I'm going to be faster than the Drake Azult. It's got 75 speed. Ah, that wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make sense at all. Let me protect and get in the Indeedy. If he targets into the Behem, I'm going to be in a really good spot. There's the Expanding Force, yeah. There's the Taunt. All right, cool. Taunt Drigazult's interesting. I actually really like that now that I think about it. Let me Trick Room up and follow me. He can't stop the Expanding Dong now. There's the Bolt Beak and he misses. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Let me Expanding Force right here. In fact, man, do I double Expanding Force? I think I double Expanding Force. I think I'm going to double Expanding Force. 
It technically doesn't do more, but it allows me to hit the Rillaboom twice if it comes in. And I'm still going to do stupid damage. Oh, I'm freaking idiot. Idiot, Marcos. Idiot. Um, I can get in the Torkoal and protect here. Torkoal should take any hit from the Incineroar. Ooh, okay, I like this actually. This is a really good spot for me because I can Burning Jealousy to hit this Rillaboom. And while he could fake out, actually this might be a game where I have to Dynamax this Torkoal. He doesn't have much to hit it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to Max Flare into the Rillaboom. And I'm going to go back into Behem to remove his terrain. Yeah, when I come back in. That's fine. I get I get some significant damage. He could parting shot, but I'm still in a very scary spot for him. There's the flare blitz. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Um, I get in the Indeedee, and now my play is to helping hand Max Quake to guarantee the KO on the Incineroar, since it's gonna wanna he's gonna wanna get out the Rillaboom, and then I still have a very very threatening uh, Venusaur in the back for him. Because I think his play here is to parting shot on me. I definitely threw this game away on the lead. Because I'm stupid. But that's how it is. Cool. Get a special defense boost. There's the knockoff. I don't mind losing my charcoal to be honest. As long as I keep my, my sun up. And I still got follow me pressure. So that's pretty epic. It's pretty epic. Um... Call me crazy, but I think I take the hit from the Dracozolt. But it's probably my best interest just to Max Flare the Rillaboom. And he's probably going to protect. Because I could Max Flare follow me. I'm going to go for it. Alright, cool. We get rid of the Ndidi, which is nice. And... This should get rid of it, right? I hate you. I hate you so much, man. Let me Burning Jealousy and follow me. I might be able to burn the Drake's out here if he max hair streams. But he should Bolt Beak. And we only have one more turn of Sun left. Man. Alright, this is going to be a scary endgame. Expanding Dong does not knock me out. Max Lightning will not knock me out. I get the Venusaur in, but I can't put him to sleep. Man. <laughs> Alright, I might have I'm freaked it. Alright, let um, me go for this Protect. That's not my play, is it? I have to double into this thing. Oh, wait, no. He lost his terrain. He lost his terrain because he sent out the Rillaboom. All right. Um, still got Earth Power. Still got a Sleep Powder. Hopefully he doesn't fake out the Venus Orb, which he definitely should. He should, he should like, always fake out Max Airstream. Yeah. Uh, we do have a chance to win, but it's entirely based off of him missing every hit from this point forward. So we're going to try that. Which he could, he could do. He could honestly miss every hit from this point forward. Let's see if we're lucky today. Man, he's got Aerial Ace. All right, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. I don't, I don't mind that we have a lot of losses today. I'm gonna play this last game like I actually care. I'm gonna actually play like I care now. <laughs> All right, uh, that's probably gonna be Single Strike Urshifu. Just based on, oh no, it's Rapid Strike because he's got a Politoed. All right, um. Let me think. That means he's got no switch into the Behem, so I always lead off that way again. Uh, in the back, I can bring the Tyranitar and the Primarina. Venusaur is like, it's it's a strong option, but it's not it's not common that I have to bring that. Oh, he's single strike. Okay, that's a little bit that's a little bit more more difficult, but the Primarina messes him up. So we still trick room up and follow me. I don't mind losing the uh Indeedy this early on. I really don't mind it. It's the wicked blow. Oh. Oh. So it's like that, huh? So it's, so it's like that. Uh, Might have lost here. Might have, but I did say this was the last battle, so I don't really got a way of... I don't really got a way out of this, do I? I don't. Hmm. 
I think he always switches in the Rillaboom here, so it's in my best interest to get in the Tyranitar and go for this Max Starfall onto the Urshifu. Because there's no way he close combated into Tyranitar. Yeah, he's going to Wicked Blow. It does a lot, though. It does a lot. Alright, remove one of the most threatening things in the field. Uh, however, there's still, you know, Rillaboom, most likely. Which is scary. Yeah, there he is. There's the boy. Um, I suppose... My play is to Rock Slide. Nah, Lash Out does more. I don't take a hit from G-Max Rillaboom ever. And I don't have Max Guard. So I just lose, to be honest. I'm stupid, man. Oh, hold on. He might have freaked it. He might have freaked it. I keep saying that. I'm so I'm so dumb. Why do I keep saying that? Um, I can trick him up, but I'm going to die to that Rillaboom. 100%. Can Max Star follow it again? Honestly, if I don't die to the Rillaboom, I have a, I have a decent chance of winning. Yeah, no, I died. All right, good game, man. Good game. So that's, that's the team, guys. That's the team. Now, while I did lose a lot today, I will say three of those were from me playing fast, loose, and stupid. So I still highly recommend you guys try out this team, which the Pokey Pace will be in the description down below. And let me know if you guys want me to use it in a in a future video. Uh, on unlike my boost the top series, which is coming back. It is coming back. <laughs> so so watch out for that. Uh, probably next Monday will be the, the next video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.